Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Yashika. Hope you all are doing good. So today I'm gonna show you about the dynamic reference qualifier. How we can use the dynamic reference qualifier. Today I'm gonna give one real time scenario. So I'll sh start. Okay. So I have created one catalog item. So let's open it. So I'll show you through an example. It would be easy for you. Actually, we have three types of the reference qualifier, simple, dynamic and advanced. And today I'm going to show you only dynamic. I'll create a video on the simple and advanced also. So yes, this is my catalog item I have created. So here I have the two fields, assignment group and assign to. Both are the reference fields, okay? So dynamic reference qualifier is used to restrict the data of the reference qualifier through this filter, okay? Suppose uh, I can say, if I click on the assignment group, there are 45 assignment groups, okay? And uh, here it is. 624 users total available users 624 now my requirement is that if i click one of any assignment group suppose i have clicked on analytics then only those users will appear who belongs to the analytics setting managers but here it is 624 let me show you how many users are there in this analytics setting managers. So uh, there is a table sys underscore user underscore gr member. Uh, it is the table which contains all the groups and the members. Okay. If I write that group here. Oh, so here it is uh, no member under this group. And uh, if I do ATF test group number so let's see yeah so we have two users under ATF test group network so I also want here same when I uh, select ATF test group network then only two users will appear here instead of the 624 users so how we will do that we will do it through the uh, script include we will write one script include and put it under dynamic reference qualifier so whenever it search the like assignment group so it will appear here okay so let's uh, create one script include first <clears throat> so under system ui select the script include and you can create a new script include Let me name it um, test filter dynamic. Okay. And let's save it once. Whenever you write the name here and click on the script part, then this code part will appear automatically. Okay. So let me zoom out the screen. Okay. So let's begin. Okay, so first uh, I need to uh, give a function name what function we want so this is my item I want assign to users so let me get uh, assigned users is my function name then colon and then function and then braces and then comma this is the way to call like write the script includes you can say so first of all uh, let me scroll it here uh, first i want this assignment group so that i can check that uh, the users belongs to this group will appear in assign to so let me get the value of this atf test group how i can do that so let me create a, uh, one variable group and it is current dot variables dot and uh, here it is yeah 
um, back end value of this was assignment group assignment group dot society actually it is a reference field whenever we take a value like current dot variables value of the reference field then it will if I don't put sys id here then it will store the sys id in the variable but I want the exact name so that's why I put the sys id then it stores the name it stores the sys id okay now let me create a glide record glide record for the table which I have showed you right now underscore gr member okay <clears throat> yes gr member now we matched dot add query what we matched um the backend name for the group is group and our variable name is group and gr dot query okay so now I will uh, create one array kind of thing you can say variable okay which uh, should be the like uh, you can say space separated so I create here variable member it is space separated <coughs> now while gr dot next whenever it finds the record then what will happen member plus equal sorry, equals to okay so what it will create comma plus gr dot object dot object dot uh, what we want user now it's a backend name is user dot society okay so what we are doing here we have created one member which we return okay so it is a kind of uh, like space oriented or you can say space separated okay so whenever uh, object will find a user so it will do the plus uh, comma separated then comma and then sys id of that user okay now we will return it return sys id i n plus member okay so what we are doing here <clears throat> um, okay I'll show you through a, like a, one example what I will doing here I will uh, search for incident okay and uh, I'm putting a filter here okay so copy says ID so if I write sys id if I am is one of is one of okay ya to sys id ye ho otherwise uh, if uh, copy sys id again otherwise if sys id is this then show me the records then you can say the encoded query will be in the form sys id in then sys id comma sys id that is the reason <coughs> sorry uh, we separated here through the comma and put here return sys id plus member okay i hope you get this point so our script include is ready and now we will put it in the dynamic filter um, i guess yes i have to open it again catalog item to show you how to put in the dynamic filter so I have two variables here assignment group and assigned to so uh, I'll put in the assigned to 
field this uh, filter i want that like if uh, assignment group is atf then only atf users will appear in the assigned to so i will put this filter in the assigned to so where i can do that in the type specifications you can see mm, yeah there is a reference field for the sys user and they are the simple dynamic and advanced so i'll select dynamic so when i do the dynamic reference qualifier i'll go it so here i can see here is like only one pa contributors and i our dynamic filter name is no i have not created any dynamic filter yet so let me create one dynamic filter <clears throat> dynamic filter when you write the dynamic in the navigation there is a dynamic filter options click on it and now you can create a dynamic filter so that it will appear and you can reuse it again in any catalog wherever you want that assignment users will be, uh, show according to the assignment group you can use it multiple times otherwise you can declare directly in the catalog item also but i am creating dynamic filter options so that you can use it multiple time in anywhere first of all available for reference qualifier tick this one and name is uh, test filter yep so here i need to write down the script for the dynamic filter here it is new and our script include name okay dot function name i can declare many functions in this but uh, as of now it is one so function name and colon so this is the way to declare the script include i can write this code in directly service catalog also so it is a reference field here is a field type it is a for which field type you are doing it for the reference field type and for which table so are assigned to is a uh, is based on the sys user table so we are doing it on the user table for the users so select the user table here Mm, where is our user table yeah sys user okay yes just save it i hope it will come there mm, where it is yes <coughs> let's search it yes test filter is coming here so just select the test filter and save it okay now for this one just reload the page and let's see for of as of now it is showing 45 assignment group and for the assigned to users it is showing no assigned users because i have not selected any assignment group so suppose i have selected atf test group uh, as I showed you earlier that it has two users let's see yes two users are coming here for cross check let me check uh, for one other group also business application um, how many users no users in it uh, in database yes here three users are coming under the database group so it is working fine you can use this script include and dynamic filter in any customized table or service catalog or anywhere wherever you want wherever you want to restrict your users according to the assignment group you can do in this way this is a very simple way i have uh, like uh, try my best to show you everything so i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.